The homeless shelter in Green Bay is now closed as plans are in the works to reopen it as a substance abuse treatment center. Kristen Allen is live outside of Safe Shelter this morning. And Kristen, why is the shelter changing direction? That's right. Safe Shelter opened back in 2021. The building is uh, here behind me, and the executive director says that it was always her dream to open this facility. She's a registered nurse and has a passion for helping the community, but she says that based on what she's seen over the years, she believes that addiction plays a key role in a lot of homelessness, and she wants to address that and prevent it before it happens. Right now, Safe Shelter is working with a consultant to do a feasibility study and figure out what the best plan of action is moving forward. The executive director says that she would start out small, working with eight to ten patients to start out. She'd also hire licensed counselors and do a lot of grant, write, grant writing and fundraising. It wasn't an easy decision to close the homeless shelter, but the executive director says she wants to focus on preventing homelessness by targeting addiction issues in the community. I think that many of these individuals, when they get themselves ready, you know, they can better care for their families. They can maintain a job. Um, they can, you know, partake in all the responsibilities that are, you know, expected of them as community members. There's still a lot of work yet to be done, but the executive director who you just heard from says she hopes to reopen safe shelter as a substance abuse treatment facility early next year. Reporting live in Green Bay, Kristen Allen, Action 2 News.